I'm sure you noticed around the new year the Dollar Tree carried a lot of items to organize your home. These baskets I just adore and I just cannot get enough of them. We use them all over our house. Um, they're fairly sturdy for what we use them for. These here are, um, I think technically they're supposed to be for like laundry maybe, but we use these, this is a ball from my daughter from the Dollar Tree. Um, we use these to hold um, extra clothing, sweaters, you know, we could put them on high shelves in our closet. Uh, my daughter puts her toys in here, other kinds of things like that. And I got them in red, purple, blue, green, and orange. And one nice thing too is if I have surplus after I finish doing some major organizing, you can use these as gift baskets. So like if there's a baby shower and you know you want to fill one of these baskets with diapers or um, uh, burp cloths, bottles, etc., it would work out great for that. And these actually come in, this is the larger size, there's a smaller size as well. I got the blue, green, purple, orange, and red. They are fairly sturdy. You can actually stack these. I don't use it for this purpose, but you could definitely do that. You know, if you have Legos that you want to organize, if you have dolls, um, other kinds of items, you can organize um, purses. I, I put this in my closet to put purses away. This is also a very nice item for organizing things around the house. I'm thinking of using this under my bathroom sink because it actually, this can actually stack. So if you open up these things in the middle here, you could stack one on top of the other and just reach in, reach out if you need like um, certain brushes or you need extra contact solution, makeup. The coat closet is another area of the house where I use those bins from the Dollar Tree. And we have a bin for each person, so for my husband, myself, and me, and my daughter. Each one has a label of um, my husband's name, my name, and my daughter's name. And these bins hold up very well. They hold all our baseball caps, some shoe tools, polishes, um, winter hats, winter gloves, any extra stuff that we're not using at the moment. And I might actually see if I can get a shelf up there and put more of these bins in there just because, you know, there's a bunch of extra wasted space. And we also use those bins to hold books. There are several of these bins around the house and this shape works well as far as how big her books are to fit very nicely. This here is my pantry area, and it doesn't hold all the food in my kitchen, but this is an area I wanted to show you because this is where I put the crates that I got from the Dollar Tree. So this here, I store some baking items, decor items. At the very top, I use those white bins to um, put party wear, and I put that at the top because we don't access that all the time. This is where I use those white bins as well, so I put cooking items on the left, dry goods, and then there's snacks. On the third shelf, I also have another bin. This is where I put my beans and peas and grains as well. And these bins are also from the Dollar Tree. It's where I can store rice. We buy rice in a very, very large bag, so it's nice to have it in these smaller containers so that they're more readily accessible and they're a lot neater. The bag can get, can get kind of messy to get in and out of. This is another area of the kitchen where I use those baskets from the Dollar Tree. Here I have put towels, kitchen towels, and ordinarily I would like to put these in a kitchen drawer, but I just don't have that many drawers to spare. Here I have put the baskets that I've gotten from the Dollar Tree. I think ordinarily these are used to organize drawers, but I put spices in here that I don't access frequently. I have a separate spice drawer that I use for that. I also use those baskets from the Dollar Tree to corral the lids of my pots and pans. Ordinarily, they would be swimming all over the place, but here it's very easily tucked away, kept into one spot, and um, it's sturdy enough that it keeps it all together. I also use baskets from the Dollar Tree in this cabinet to put our to-go beverage containers. 
this here, it slides in and out nice and easily. It has um, coffee mugs. Here, um, I don't have an area of the kitchen where I could put medicines. So this is the best area because it's a small cabinet, it's high, and um, it's not gonna be mixed amongst other kinds of foods. On this lower shelf, we have coffee and tea stuff because we have our coffee maker here. But up above, in these crates, I store um, different items. So this has antacids, vitamins, and sunscreen that I could very easily pull out. And then up here is cold and cough medications, Sudafed, NyQuil, that kind of a thing. Here I have my tea bags. And actually, you know, I used to have all these big boxes that contained all the teas, but they just took up too much room. And sometimes some would be stuck at the back and then I would forget that I had them. So this is nice because then it, it's kind of like a little file of tea and you could just sort through and see which kinds that you wanted to drink that day. I also have um, some of my extra miscellaneous items in here like we don't use a ton of Splenda but sometimes we have guests that want to use it so we keep it right here and it fits very nicely in the small cabinet. This is another area of the kitchen where I put some Dollar Tree items to organize. And it's still a bit of a jumble, but believe me, it looked a lot worse before. So these are those drawer organizers that come in two to three per pack. And you know, we put some of our hardware stuff, our batteries, scotch tape, screwdrivers, flashlights, etc. It's on our countertops as well. This holds some smaller items that can get easily scattered. And this here contains our napkins. So there's some linen napkins and some paper napkins as well. This napkin holder is from the Dollar Tree. This here, um, these are those canisters that you could buy. They are BPA free and I use them to store nuts. And up here there's some beverage mixes that we don't access very frequently so I put them up here so that the lower shelves are open for other things that we access a lot of. And here, if you recognize this, this is also from the Dollar Tree. And it kind of makes more shelf space above the cans. This is where I house some of our stockpile. These bins are currently at the Dollar Tree. They're running out fast though, so if you like them, go ahead and get them. The reason I put these here is because our closet has the grid kind of shelves. So, you know, all these smaller items were slipping through and toppling over. It was looking very disorganized. So I like these bins for here. You know, they can section stuff out. I also use items from the Dollar Tree to organize our cleaning supplies. So this here is a bin from the Dollar Tree and um, I hung this at the back of the door here with command hooks. And it's nice because before I always had to kind of dig underneath to find the sponges and the brushes. So I just leave those there. And that brush actually is from the Dollar Tree as well. It works really well. This is another area of the kitchen where I use some Dollar Tree items. This expo board is very nice. It sticks to the refrigerator without taking any of the lining off. And here we could put goals of the week or we put um, recipes and meal plans for the week or to-do list, reminders, that kind of thing. I use the dry erase markers that they have at the Dollar Tree and these actually come four to a pack. Um, so that's nice, blue, red, and black. And here I made a little box to contain the markers in and also some other notes. And this is actually from a box that had pie crusts in them, but the wallpaper, the covering, is actually um, from contact paper from the Dollar Tree. And you can also buy these magnetic notepads to carry with you. You know, we put grocery lists on here sometimes if we don't put it on our cell phones or notes, that kind of thing. These storage bags. And these come in, in three different sizes, XXL, XL, and large. To store sweaters, to store, store my daughter's old clothes, to store maternity clothes. But nicely, the plastic is not flimsy at all. Um, it might not be as thick as, as some of the hefty um, freezer bags, but it definitely will hold up well. These are large binder clips. I was so excited to find these because usually the binder clips 
that you find at Office Max and Staples that are not black and have color are so expensive. And I mean, I guess technically during back to school season, I could probably find these cheaper if I buy, you know, them by the 50 pack or 20 pack, but I really don't feel like spending five or seven dollars on um, binder clips. And I'm gonna use these actually to organize some of my files and coupons.